this is a, um, uh, a study that we just published recently in the Annals of Surgery. Uh, and this was a phase two study where we added the anti pdl one antibody devalumab uh, to chemoradiation. And in particular, the chemoradiation strategy was based on the CLGB80803 study, where we used PET scan to adjudicate response to induction chemotherapy. So here, patients received induction full FOX chemotherapy and then underwent a repeat PET scan. Uh, if they were responders, they continued with full FOX with radiation. Uh, if they were non-responders, they switched over to carboplatin, paclitaxel with radiation. And all patients had devalumab added during the period of chemoradiation. Patients then underwent surgery, and then in the adjuvant period, they received six months of adjuvant devalumab. So the, again, the encouraging thing was that the, um, uh, the, the approach overall was safe and feasible. Uh, the addition of immunotherapy to chemoradiation did increase or introduce immune-related toxicities, but in almost every case, we were able to safely get patients through chemoradiation and surgery without a significant delay in treatment. Uh, in addition, we saw, an encouraging, we saw encouraging pathologic responses. Um, the pathologic complete response rate um, was, was less than 30%, but the major pathologic response rate, which was um, greater than 90% treatment response and YP and zero status, was about 60%. So that was, that was very encouraging. We also, at this point, have two-year progression-free and overall survival data, and also that appeared very encouraging compared to historical control. So all in all, I think you know, the, the summation is that it was well tolerated, and we did see encouraging pathologic as well as survival outcomes with that study.